Alright guys, this is A Dog here. And I'm here to do some more redstoning right here. Don't have that big of an exhibit like I do over there. I'm not gonna show y'all that. Um it's just basically from my last video in the series. Sorry it's been so long and sorry about the background the background noise. Um hopefully this will be a good helpful video. I'm just gonna teach you the basic ways to input stuff. Okay, button here goes up, goes down. Switch, it'll go up until you turn the switch off. Okay, the ways you can place the switch is instead of having the switch here, I could have it here. Same thing. Either side, same thing. Okay, the redstone from this button, you could have it here. It has to, it has to hit the block okay as long as it hits the same block as the button you're good okay the button could be on either side it work can't put a button on top of a block and I am just griefing my world okay now this is a pressure plate stone and wood the difference is stone a character has to step on it okay wood you can throw a block on it and it'll still activate and the block slid off. You can throw an item on it. Err, fail. See? Still activates. When you try to do this with the stone one, don't work. Works whenever I step. Now when the block hits. Stone, it takes fat person, I guess. Um this is just showing another input device redstone torch and it has to be like this the only other way you could do it would be to have it like this and then it would still work okay and then this is just showing you that a piston can be activated by the block underneath or either block on the sides okay can be activated thanks for watching please like comment rate subscribe helps me out thanks